Hey guys, we're gonna make a 4th of July burlap wreath to hang on your front door. All you'll need, three different colors of burlap, red, white, and Mr. T. I used this blue with stars on it. Need a little bit of wire. This is just um, 22 gauge floral wire, just to anchor your burlap, nothing too heavy duty. Wire cutters, your wreath frame, and I got these cute little stars that I think I'm just gonna paint white and hot glue them on when we're done for a little extra decoration. Let's get started. Now, before we get started, if you could do me a huge favor and like and subscribe and hit the little bell so you get a notification every time I upload a new video, that would be awesome. Let's get going. First thing, cut off a little piece of wire. Doesn't really matter how long, it's just to anchor the burlap. I think I'm gonna start with the blue stars. I'm just unroll a bunch. I'm just gonna play with it and lay on it and do what cats do when it comes to yarn. And so what you're gonna do is take it, fold it in half, fold it in half again, take your wire, and just kind of shove it through. So it looks like this. You can see the wire. And then you wanna anchor it on the inside, because we wanna work from the inside out. And we're gonna take it and just twist it around, kind of coming from underneath. Just twist it around a couple times to hold it in place. Trim off the ends. All right, so what we're gonna do, we've got it anchored here, coming from underneath. You're just gonna sh shove it through, as awkward as it is. Um, the first ring, you always wanna work from the inside out. So shove it through, and I usually do like three or four fingers width for the loop. Then you're gonna hold that in place. Like that. Make another loop and come up the next hole. And you, they don't have to be perfectly uniform because you can kind of adjust it and bubble them out later. Um, but just so they're kind of all similarly sized. And then you continue around. You've got those. Now what you're gonna do is take them all. And you're gonna kind of twist this in the back, holding all of these up just a couple times around to hold that in place. You're gonna scrunch them over. Really? And continue the process again, starting with the inside. Pulling it up and through. Oops. And I got all of this um, from Joanne on sale and I think each one is like six yards. So probably won't use it all, but just for reference. This is like the stiffest burlap. You're not helping. Really? Get your arm. Get your arm. Get your arm. Get your arm. And like I said, it doesn't have to look perfect while you're doing it because you can kind of go back and tweak it and twist it. Don't get back in. Give it a few twists. And roll some more. Fight with your cat. And then come back up through the inside. Usually you can get about three in each of these little sections. So that's 
kind of what step one looks like. And you can adjust it and tweak it and fluff it as you see fit. I think I'm gonna do two of each color. So we're gonna keep on going around. Well, basically till this runs out. All right, and then just to anchor it, just another little piece of wire. And fold it in half, half again. Stick the wire through if it wants to go. And then just uh, anchor it down and kind of tuck it behind the wreath. All right, so now you can kind of go back and like fluff it up, adjust it, scrunch it, unscrunch it, kind of get it how you want it to look. Um, I'm going to continue on with the other two colors and we'll come back when I want to add the stars. All right, so now we have, it's all finished. I'm just kind of going through now and fluffing it up and kind of twisting it, making it look cute. And then I'm gonna go and paint these stars quick and then come back and add the stars to it. All right, so now I've painted the stars before, after, before, after. Just plain white, nothing special. Um, and I'm just gonna hot glue them down onto the burlap. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of pick out where I want them to sit. But this one I'm just gonna, since it's a bigger star, I'm gonna pull this out so it has a little bit more of a surface area. Heat up our hot glue gun and just kind of, I'm gonna kind of go around for the middle. I'm just gonna stick it down and just careful not to burn yourself as you press it on a little bit might seep through the, the burlap. Just add a hot glue. Just... I'm just gonna give it one more Fluffing and make sure everything is right how you want it to look. And there you go. Fourth of July burlap wreath. Thanks for watching, guys. We just made a cute little Fourth of July burlap wreath. Make sure you like and subscribe and hit the little bell so you get notified every time we have content coming out. Thanks.